What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today we're going to talk about the South Carolina playbook in NCAA Football 06. This was a request from someone a couple weeks back whenever I posted that video on the Minnesota playbook review. I thought that format was okay, but I think this approach is a little simpler for me and hopefully more useful to you. It's just me in practice mode, going through every formation and every play, kind of giving you my thoughts on the whole thing and repping a few plays along the way. Now, I will have chapters for this video. Make sure you check those out if you just need to go to a specific formation and such. And I'm also going to provide in the future a link or two regarding this playbook or maybe something else. Who knows? But make sure you don't miss out on any of that. So without further ado, let's head into this playbook. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this is Steve Spurrier's first season at South Carolina back in 2005, and he was still trying to fully implement the fun and gun offense. That's the offense I pretty much put together and used in my UNLV dynasty from about a year or so ago. And as you can tell with these formations, we'll go through each one. We start off with ace normal, ace slot, ace trips, I normal, no back normal, pro slot, shotgun wide trips, and you got gun spread, and gun five wide. It looks like a very much of a pro style offense, which it is, because again, that's what the fun and gun offense was. So we're going to start at the very top, and we're going to start with ace normal. Now, I like to go through the sub packages. I think it's useful to know kind of what you can do with some of your players moving them around and such without having to use the formation subs too much. So you got flank or flip. It just flips your two wide receivers. Of course, you could throw in your backup QB. You can flip your tight ends. You can put your backup uh, halfback in there. And you could put the fullback at halfback. And you could put your starting halfback over at wide receiver. And you're now back to normal. So this is a 12 personnel set. One uh, running back with two tight ends. Now let's just go through each play. And I'll just give you my thoughts. You know, halfback slam, that's my favorite under center run concept it's very simple you can go inside and out pa rollout is really good it lets you uh get the ball out kind of quickly the play action motion is very quick and you can also flip it and regardless if you got a quarterback that's lefty or righty you should be able to use that just as quickly but it's got some good routes that are spaced out well halfback draw any draw from underneath the center is pretty good in this game Next up, you got counter trap. I'm not the biggest fan of this play. Just the counter, the pulling guard's a little too slow for my liking. PA counter, pretty good play. It complements counter trap, but it's still, it's a very slow developing play. I can show you really quick. We can go up against cover two. Man, just notice how slow it takes for the quarterback to get around and finally get going. And then when you get here, you're probably going to get sacked. You just got to hope you get decent protection on this play. But when you do, it's not bad. You can go over to somebody and try to get, you know, some yards out of it. But it's still a very slow develop and play, and it is tough if you've got a lefty quarterback. If you've got a lefty quarterback, you have to flip it to make it work uh, not as bad. Because if you had a lefty and you played it like this, it'll be even slower. Halfback read, it is very slow. I, the line play is awful. You're always going to have a defender come through there and wedge and get a tackle. So I never use those. Halfback dive, it's like my second favorite under center run. It's very simple. It's just between the center and the guard, that's your A gap. You can bounce it to the outside if needed. Safety attack, that's a base play out of my power shoot offense. I love using this play, especially again, zone. You can motion this Z receiver over and bring him over, and you can just get a very simple gain for some easy yards. Just a really good play, and you can do some other cool things with it as well. Then you have wide receiver reverse. I'm not a big fan of this play. It's super hard for this to work. It doesn't work against zone. Sometimes it works against man. Like we can go up against cover two man here. And if you, the blocking is perfect, you can kind of get around and maybe do something. But again, it is super hard. You got to hope they play like cover zero, maybe something like that. But I rarely, if ever, call that play. Next up, we got halfback screen. I'm not a big fan of any halfback screens from under center. You just don't have enough time. Uh, you're going to get sacked more often than not. Halfback tackle. There's only one other halfback tackle play in the game. And that's from I normal. So it complements that well. 
it's just a little slower developing play, but it works pretty well if the blocking's there. Then you got PA Strike. I love PA Strike, especially against like Cover Zero. We can select like Thunder Green here. It is a left hash play. It's a little slow developing play. You'll notice here, and hopefully I can pull this off, and I couldn't, but you can go to your tight end over the top, and he can get decent separation if you time the, the throw right. But if you can't, that's not a big deal. I can't even put my cursor on the guy. But I got sagged here, as usual. But you can go over the top there, and you can get a humongous gain. I can try it one more time. Maybe we got a, a chance. Uh, let me try it one more time. And if it doesn't work, we can move on. Nope, I got sacked again. Trust me, the play is not like I can try one more thing. We can go right here, and we can call something a little bit easier. How about that double safety spy? This may work. And if this doesn't work, we'll, we'll definitely move on. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now, I got intercepted. But trust me when I say it's a pretty decent play, and I like it a whole lot, as long as the blocking is there. And hopefully you don't uh, have a pick six just like that. Okay, next up we have, let's see, uh, halfback option. This is the best, my favorite option play in the game. Very simple. You got a little semi-turn uh, with the quarterback, and you can do some serious things with it as a full option or as a toss. You got tight end streaks. This is my favorite pass play of the formation this is my this is a better version of safety attack from what we saw before you know against zone you could bring him over get a very easy completion and of course you got two tight ends going over the top you saw me use this a ton in my run and shoot dynasty with hawaii recently next up we got speed option speed option is great as long as you don't abuse the speed button and it helps with this particular formation you have two tight ends on the edge. If you got a couple tight ends, or at least one tight end to the side you're going to run to, you got a much better chance, and you can go to the outside and do some things. Now, this quarterback can't run all that well, but it complements halfback option really well. And then you got halfback pass. I like it pretty well. You can motion that cross route over to the right and kind of get some things going there. Halfback toss, just avoid it uh, as, at all costs if you can. And tight end crosses is pretty good. It's not the greatest against zone, but pretty decent against man. I like the little mesh concept. And that is it for ace normal. A really good formation. It's very popular. Next up, we got ace slot. Another very popular ace formation. When you look at your sub packages, you got strong slot. That puts your top receiver in the slot. It puts your top halfback in the slot with this sub package. Backup QB, you know what that is. And you got tight end slot. It puts your number one tight end in the slot with a backup tight end going to the other, the main tight end spot. Fullback will go uh, and replace your halfback if you got a really good fullback. And halfback sub just puts you in your backup halfback. Then you got flanker strong, which puts, if I'm not mistaken, got wide receiver flips. So a 1 to 13, that is, forgive me here, flanker strong, it, it puts your... Uh, it flips a slot in the Z receiver. That's pretty much what it does there. Of course, with formation subs, you can change that and you won't have any problems. You got wide receiver flip and it flips the two outside receivers. So the whole point of sub packages is it moves players around where they normally can't go without losing any of their overall. If you do, if you put your fullback in at halfback, his overall will decrease. But if you use a sub package, it won't. So let's look at some of the plays. Flanker middle, it's okay. I wish there was a better zone beater. It's a right hash play for me. There's just not a very good zone beater underneath as a safety valve. Sting is really good. It's a lot like Slam, but Slam is in this formation. Curl flats is pretty good. Of course, you got to be careful with the curls. They can get picked off, but you can also score touchdowns with them as well. And that's you can work either hash with that play since it's a mirrored concept. Then you have slot seam. Slot seam is okay. I wish there was a better short zone beater underneath. Counter trap, we've talked about that. I'm not a big fan of it. Deep bounce, it's one of the better deep ball plays in the game, especially from under center. Then you got, I keep flipping it. Then you have PA rollout, just as good as the one from Ace Normal. I wish the delay route was more of a flat, but that's okay. You can still do some damage with this one. Slam, of course, is great. Halfback screen, I would avoid it. Then you got option strong. That is your halfback option from what we saw on Ace Normal. Then you got quick slants. You got, this is one of my favorite uh, West Coast plays, especially like against zone. It's really meant for the halfback to get the ball. Now, this is a left hash play, but you can go over the center 
or above the center, or you can go to your hitch against zone. But if it's against man, you just toss this over to your halfback for some really good gains because you got those two slants on the right that can pick some defenders. A really good play. I like it a whole lot. Okay, let's get back into it. We can go and option week. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is a speed option. We can check this. You'll see it really quickly. And it is a speed option. You notice how quickly the half or the quarterback got off the ball. Just really quick. So option week, it is your speed option from this formation. Really good play, though. Next up, we got PA halfback out. I like it okay. It's meant to really go deep. It's not the best against zone underneath, though, but that's okay. Um, I prefer the PA rollout a little bit better. Then you got a halfback dive. Of course, dive is great. Seamers, seamers would be better if it would have, for example, something like this. I would do, I would hot route L1 to an out, just give you something a little simpler. But at least you got something over the middle. I'm going to get sacked here. But you can have a, you got a little go post on the right, and you can adjust if needed. If you got a better matchup with L1 over the top, you could do that, and you can hot route the uh, X receiver to an out, something like this, perhaps. Just depends on your matchup. But it's a good play, it just needs a little hot route adjustment. Next up, we got Toss Strong. Avoid it. QB screen. I like it okay, and I can I can try to pull this off. We can go. We can pick it. We can go up against a zone. Normally, what I like to do against zone, I think it works best this way, is if you bring not him, I want to bring the slant over. Sometimes you do something like this, and he can get wide open. I know I didn't do this correctly, but you saw how open he was over here. Anytime the halfback gets the ball against zone. This corner will come up to defend him. So maybe I can try this again. We're going to bring... I had wrong guy, wrong guy. We can bring the X receiver over. Bring up the icons and do something like this, perhaps. You, know, you can get some yards out of that. And if you're going up against man, I can show you really quickly here. If you go up against man, you got a couple options. We can go back to QB screen and go cover two. That's fine. Normally, if it's just man... I'll just run with my halfback if need be. It just kind of depends on what the situation is. But if it covers zero, just go to your go route. Now, don't expect your halfback to make good throws, but it is what it is. So it's, it's not a bad trick play. One of my favorites. Next up, we got halfback draw. Again, use it. It's not bad. I like it okay. And that is it for a slot. It's a really good formation. I like it quite a bit. Then you go to ace trips. I don't use this formation a ton. I wish I would. Some of the plays in it are just okay. I could probably make it better with the playbook editor, but we can look at the sub packages. You got strong slots. It switches up your wide receivers a little bit. You can put your halfback in the slot. Of course, you got backup QB. You put your fullback in the backfield. Tight end slot. So if you got two really good tight ends, you could put them out like that. Uh, wide receiver flip. Again, it just flips a couple wide receivers. And it puts your backup halfback in with this sub package. So we can go through, and here's like slot corner. This is an interesting play. I wish I could make this work a little bit better. It's not the best against zone, but it's pretty good against man. Like, I would love to try to use this on the left hash. We can try this. Like, against zone, I would love to be able to go to square over here, but the corner right there kind of gets in the way. He does a good job of defending it. It may work against cover three, but again, you can tell there's not a whole lot of room there. So an option that you can do is do it on the left hash. You go against zone, and you got a little short zone beater over here with a halfback, and you got a better chance to get some yards. So if you're going up against man, we could do something like this, and now you got more room to work with with your three wide receivers on the left. You can go over here, and I just got sacked, or fixing to. You can go over the top if need be. You can go over the middle. You got several options this way, so if you're ever going to call this play, you may want to try it on the right hash. Not a bad play. Halfback Blast, that should be your halfback slam, from what I remember. Then you got PA Rollout, it is okay. You just need to do some serious rollout work with this one. I would use that on the left hash. Quick Flats, I like this one okay. Like, you can try, we can do this against random formation. Like, against man, I can go over here, but you're not going to get a whole lot out of it. You can try maybe on the left hash. Not a whole lot of options with the running back. The only reason you notice, I got a, the reason why I put this on the right hash is because of your tight end over here on the right. So they're going zone, and I can go over here. I was fixing to get sacked again. 
practice bow can get relentless again i could probably go one thing i probably can do let's go to practice type i can try like pass skeleton that way i don't get sacked so much i swear you won't get sacked as much in the game but you go back here and we can do random so it looks like they're going zone again you can go over here and get some yards there it helps if he'd catch it but it's not a bad play it's just it's different but you can do some damage with it and of course you can treat the left side as like a bunch of man beaters not a bad play uh, like I said, P A roll out. Oh, it's the quick flats. I'm sorry. You go to quick flats, and we can do a random. Went to the wrong place. So looks like they're going zone. You can go over here and maybe do something with a tight end against man. You can go underneath like this and maybe get some yards. It's an okay play. You may have to hot route. You know this guy to a go on the far left if you're going against cover zero. It just kind of depends, but it's not bad. I mean, you can try to go up against. This is man. I wish it'd go up against zone, and it looks like it's not going to. But it's not a bad play, but it's just not my favorite. Next up, we got... Uh, we can go ahead and go back to practice type. I can switch this back. Next up, we have a uh, counter option. I think we can try it. I think this is the speed option. Nope, it's basic halfback option. You saw the, the quarterback roll. And you could do some serious damage there. So that is like a halfback option. Unfortunately, they wasted another slot with that because halfback option is in this formation. Stretch is pretty good. You notice the swing with the halfback. I would prefer to use this on the right hash. But you can also treat this as a left hash play if you really want to go to the post against zone. But we can like go up against a random uh, defense here. You can go to a man beater with the halfback. Of course, that's good defense there. Maybe go to the post against man. You got some options. You, you may be better off playing this on the left ash than anything else. Going back to cover one, we can go over here. Don't know if we're going to get much yards out of it. That would be a better play if it was a flare route. But it's a one of the better plays in the game in the uh, formation for sure. Stretch. Next up, you got counter trap. I would avoid it. Same with halfback screen. Same with halfback toss week. I wouldn't bother with any of those three. Then you got dive PA tight end corner. Not a bad play. I think it's quick. It's been a while since I've called this play. It's kind of quick. It's not as super fast. But you got to go post over the top. Maybe you could do some damage with that. I'm fixing to get sacked as usual. But anyway, it's not a bad play. Uh, next up, we have uh, halfback toss. Again, that's another wasted play in this formation. You don't need two halfback tosses, especially if both of them are bad. And then you got basic halfback option. So again, halfback option is the same thing as counter option. Like literally the exact same thing. Uh, mid attack. This is probably my favorite play of the formation. All the routes work well together. I'm fixing to get sacked again, of course. We can try it again. It looks like they're going man on this one. Nope. Yep, they're going man. We can go to the tight end, of course. It's a bad throw. But it's a very good play. The routes work really well together. Sting is sort of like your halfback slam, not a whole lot different than that. A good little play. Tight end drag I like pretty well, as long as that drag wrap by the tight end can do what he can do there. Halfback draw, not bad. Wide receiver shovel, I've struggled with that play. You just don't have a whole lot. The rats don't work well together, it's especially against zone. I'm just not a big fan of it. And that is it for ace trips. Next up, we got I normal. Everybody and their brother has used this formation at one point. Or another in the past. Of course, you look at their sub packages. You got twin halfbacks. Uh, do uh, two halfbacks in the backfield. Then you got backup QB, halfback sub, jumbo. This puts a fullback and I think it's two fullbacks back there, if I'm not mistaken. Wide receiver flip. Of course, it flips your two receivers. Then you got uh, halfback flanker. Put your halfback over on the right side and you're back to normal. And we can look at some of these plays. ISO, very simple. Everybody knows how to run that. It's just very A-gap oriented. PA fullback flat, that's my Spider 2 Y banana play. I like it pretty well as long as you can get the playoff. That's the key. Play action is kind of tough, but it kind of depends on the blocking. Triple option, really good play. I prefer the triple option counter a little bit better, which we'll cover here in a little bit. And you got a halfback slam, which is great. PA boot, I like it a whole lot, especially on the right hash. You can hit that go route against cover two zone. I'm not a big fan of counter lead. Again, the pull of the guard is really slow, and I can show you this. 
we're going to get a decent gain here, but you could go back and look. You look at the guard right here. Look, I mean, the play is off. The quarterback has the ball. Everybody's moving except the pulling guard. He's just very slow. That's why I tend to avoid that play. Counter weeks from the other formations work pretty, a little bit better. Here's the triple option counter. I like it a little bit better because it's a little bit slower. you got a little extra time to make a decision whether to give it to your fullback or not. Option pass, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's just blocking isn't all that good. Power option is your best option play, in my opinion, in the game. I think the timing works so well with that quarter roll with your quarterback. Then you got tight end drag. I like tight end drag. I wish a couple of the rats would be a little bit better. But, like, they're going against zone. You got some options here. You can go to your tight end. Of course, he drops it. Or you can go, in a, looks like they're going man here. You can go to a zig. You can go to the dig on the left. You got a swing underneath with your halfback that's good against zone. It's a good little play. It's just a little slow developing on a couple of routes. But I like it quite a bit. Next up, you got halfback tackle. As you remember, we talked about the ace normal version. We can call this play. I like it quite a bit. It's just a little bit slow, but once you get off, you can do some things. Now, that's perfect defense there. We can try it again. Just, again, perfect defense. We can try this one more time. Good blocking there. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> it's. I swear, it's a better play in the game than it actually is in practice mode. Not a bad play. I like slam a little bit better, though. Then you got curls. Curls is good. We all kind of know how the curl flat works. I like to use this as a goal line play. If you go... If anybody remembers my funny gun offense from the UNLV dynasty that I mentioned earlier, I always use this as a goal line play. If I could get this off, I always would hot route circle to a slant, and I can go over the top and treat it as a fade route, and he can go over and try to make a play. Now, that was a terrible throw, like it has been for most of this game, or most of this uh, video so far. We can try this again. And you can have something like that, kind of, sort of, just like a little pop route. Uh, not a bad play. I like it quite a bit, for that, especially for that reason. Next up, we got fullback dive. Not a bad play. I prefer the fullback overs a little bit better, but you can get some gains out of this if the blocking is good. Wide receiver post is pretty good. That's a good right hash formation for me. All the routes seem to work pretty well together. Fullback fake toss, I'm not a fan of it because it takes too long. By the time your halfback gets the ball, he can't really do a whole lot with it. Then you got halfback toss pass. I do not use it at all. It just doesn't work all that well. Again, zone especially. Lead toss, avoid it. Then you got a uh, basic angle, a good third and long play. Or if you just want to go deep for the sake of it, you can come back when you get some extra field to work with. You know, again, zone. Wow, just getting sacked every day. <laughs> it, just, it never ends. Uh, you got some options against zone and whatnot, but against man, it works pretty well too. It's not a bad play, but if I'm going to go that deep, I probably would be rather want to be in the shotgun for something like that. But it's not a bad play. You can go back to that UNOV dynasty, and I ran this play quite a bit. And that is it for iNormal. Everybody and their brother is used to it. It's a very good formation. Next up, you got no back normal. Now, not many people have seen me run much in anything from here. It's a five wide set. It's got some decent plays in it. Now, we can look at some of the sub packages. You got strong slots. A lot of this stuff, you're going to see just a lot of receivers moving around. Halfback slot, backup QB. Wide receiver strong right. Wide receiver strong left. And you can do exactly the same thing in formation subs because you're just moving wide receivers around. So nobody's going to change in terms of their overall. But you can put a tight end in there. You can put a cornerback in there. And that is it. So arrows, it's, it's okay. I wish it was a little bit better against zone. I normally don't call it, though. Curl flats is great. The spacing of the routes is good. Wide receiver streaks, I would use that as like a third and long, especially with that go post on the left. That would be a left left hash play for me. Then you got wide receiver deep post. I, I, it, it's okay. I wish it, the, some of the underneath routes were a little bit better. Tunnel screen, I can never make this work. The blocking was never good enough. Then you got slot corners. It's just okay. Then you got uh, in and out. I love the the uh, zig routes underneath the digs on top of that, and he got a wheel route, so you can do some serious damage with this play. QB draw, it's not bad. Uh, inside hitches, I'm not a fan of it. There's just not enough good man beaters here for my liking. Uh, one thing I wouldn't mind trying, we can go up against like cover. I think cover two may be a bad oh, uh, defense to go up against for this one. I was just curious to see about that corner route. That can maybe work. 
you got a little hitch underneath that could work well against zone but otherwise just i'm not a huge fan of it then you got mid strike i like this play quite a bit i like the hitch on the left with a go then you got a slant coming across the middle you could do some good damage with that one wide receiver screen isn't bad i like it i prefer if you're going to use it my preference is to use it on the right hash because of the screen i think they work better on the short side of the field but you got to go post on the left you can always play that on the left side as well wheelies is okay i wish that drag route would work a little bit better underneath it takes forever him to get over a rollout i'm not a big fan of i know it looks kind of sexy it looks pretty cool but i just don't like it all that well for a few times i've tried to call it split in corners i like this play it's got good uh corner routes you got a big cross over the middle flat routes i think you could do some damage with it especially probably from the left side i think the, that corner route works a little bit better that way but you can work it off either hash Wide receiver under, eh, it's okay. I think it worked halfway decent if you're going to try to go deep with that post and that backside uh, comeback route can complement a little bit uh, okay. But I, it's just an okay play. And a slot drag, I like it okay. I like the drag underneath with a crosser over top of that. I would probably use that on the right hash. Outer loop, I would probably motion that uh, zig to the left maybe, but I don't know if I'd use this play too often. Wide receiver outs would be great if that dig was a little bit shorter, like a, a zig. And that is it for no bag. I actually like ace empty better, but this formation is pretty good. But you probably won't see me call or use this uh, formation much unless I went pure five wide and just felt the need to add it. Next up, we got pro slot. This is my probably my least favorite of the three pro formations. You got twin halfbacks. You got your two halfbacks in the backfield, backup QB. Halfback sub, strong slot, put your top receiver in the slot, wide receiver flip, and fullback, I think you put your two fullbacks in the backfield, and a running back flip if you want your halfback on the right side instead of the left or, you know, vice versa. Then you can put your tight end in the slot, and you can put a halfback in the slot. So there's some decent sub packages with this one. Double slants, I don't like it. The slants don't work all that well in this game, at least against man. Counter is okay. Um... I still think it's kind of slow. We can look at this really quickly. Yes, you notice the left guard was just very slow coming off the line. So I don't know if I would use it that often. Next up, we got wide receiver middle. This may be my favorite pass play of the formation. You can run it off either hash. You got a swing as a short zone beater if you're playing on the left. Or you could play it on the right hash and you got the zig that could be underneath. So that would be a good play if you just want to play it regardless of which side of the field. Fullback dive, pretty simple. Slot corner, I like it okay. I wish that delayed route was something a little bit better. But I think you could do damage with it. I think the routes are pretty good. Uh, halfback draw, not bad for what it is. A wide receiver corners, this may be my other favorite. I like this one quite a bit. We can go over to, we can run against nickel. They're going man here. Looks like cover one. You can go over the top course. This is going to get double teamed by that corner or by the uh, safety. But you can do some decent damage. I like it. I mean, I think the spacing of the routes is pretty good. I prefer it on the left hash because of the flare route by R1. It's a better man beater than a zone beater. But if you needed to go over the middle, you could do something like this, and you can go to that post route against like cover two, three, and four and such. Not a bad play. Next up, we got speed option. You know what that is. It's pretty simple. Just be careful. You don't have any tight ends to help you off the edge. Option pass, I've tried it. I'm just not a fan of it. It's just the blocking isn't good. It takes forever to develop. Power option, very easy, simple uh, option play. My favorite, and of course you can use it as a toss. You got a halfback dive where everybody knows how simple that is. I'm not a big fan of underneath. It just, it's just not all that good for me. I don't like the routes. Uh, halfback screen, I would avoid it just because you're under center. Uh, halfback zone lead, you notice that your offensive linemen are doing that zone blocking slant look. It doesn't work well at all. PA lead, it's one of the few play action plays in the game that's got a curl flat. It's okay. Uh, it's just a little slow developing. I probably wouldn't use it all that often. Uh, RB cross, this looks a lot like an old school West Coast slash air raid concept. I like it pretty good. You can work it off either hash. I would use this quite a bit. Lead toss is just awful. Avoid it. Halfback angle is a good audible play just because there's hardly any zone that you uh, beaters to work with. You got the angle route, and that's about it. But if you're seeing man, especially a couple of safeties coming down or whatnot, you could really do some damage 
with it. Uh, and that is it for Pro Slot. There's about four or five pass plays that I really like, but there's a bunch of stuff in there that I'm not a big fan of either. Next up, we got the shotgun formations. We're going to start off with wide trips. Very popular formations. Got some good stuff. You got strong slot. You got halfback slot. Backup QB. Tight end slot. Fullback in the backfield. Wide receiver flip. Halfback sub. And that is it for your sub packages. Linebacker attack. I love this play years ago when I was really trying to get into like some basic gun spread type stuff. Very good play. It could be a little bit better. Uh, against man, you got some options. You can go over to the corner, get some good gains here. You can go with a post. You can go to a curl if it doesn't get picked off, as you see right there, which is always possible with the curls. But you can also attack zone with it. I like the play. I think the rats work well together. QB choice, one of the better run concepts from the shotgun. You can keep it with the quarterback, or I like to use it more often than not. Just to hand the ball off to the halfback. It's one, one of the few, if any, good off-tackle runs with the halfback that you can actually hand the ball off. Especially for those who don't like to use halfback direct. Then you got P. Reed. This is a good play. You can use it off either hash because you got two short zone beaters to work with. But I prefer to use it off the left hash. Mainly because I think that flare route by the halfback works a little bit better as a zone beater. Especially since that zig route with the tight end is very slow. By the time you want him to get open, you're, he's not, and you're going to get sacked. On top of that, if you're going to play this on the left hash, you can go to your go route. He's got a whole lot more space up top. Now, they're, I'm fixing to get sacked again, as usual. But looks like they're going zone here. Again, I think it works just a little bit better off the left hash than the right. But you can pull it off on the right as well. But this is something what I was thinking of. Maybe he could convert this. Nope, another interception. Why not? I swear, it's a pretty decent play when it's executed correctly. Uh, a cross post. Okay, I wish I had like a better man beater, for example. This is not bad against zone. You got a, a flat underneath. I wish you had something like this. You may have to do a hot round adjustment. Just to go over here, possibly, and get some yards. But if you want to take the chance, you can try it on the left hash. And go to the right side. And you can go up top with somebody. Something like this. Of course, it's about to get picked off. You can go to either one of those guys. Cover zero. You can go to the post. This is going to be out of bounds, probably. Not a bad play. It just needs a little bit of adjusting. QB draw. QB draws from the gun work halfway decent in this game. You just got to be patient with the blocking. And you can flip it left or right. Of course, that doesn't really matter because you're going to be controlling him anyways. Flanker cross is another play that you can work off either hash. Left hash, you got your halfback as a good short side zone beater, or you can play it on the right hash, and you got your delayed route. I like this play quite a bit. I think the, the routes work really well together. And then you got corners. Not bad. I kind of wish the tight end drag would be a little quicker. It's kind of slow and it's kind of deep, uh, but the rest of that stuff is not bad. Inside draw, any draw from the gun, avoid it. It just doesn't work well. Unless you're the CPU and can convert that stuff somehow. A lot of it's usually me you know, playing quarters against them. P at wide receiver in. I like it deep. I like the, the switch concept on the right, the dig on the left. I just wish there was something a little bit better underneath just in case you can't go over the top. Tiny and post. I love that little hit trap by Z receiver. You don't see that hardly any in this game except on this play. I just wish I had a little bit better man beaters. Speed option. Probably the best option play from the gun. It's just super simple. You can go to either side and do some really good damage with it. Halfback corner. This is one of my favorite deep passing plays. The go post on the right works great together when you're on the right hash. And you got that deep comeback. Every bit of that just works really well. And you got that halfback corner round that's not too bad against cover three zone. Next up, we got halfback out. This is another good deep uh, play. I prefer to use this on the right hash just because you got the halfback out underneath. But you can do some cool things with it. You can work it off the left hash too. You're, if you're going to do that, you're really meant to use it to go to R1 against like cover two zone. But otherwise, a lot of possibilities with that play. I love flanker screen. You can get the ball off really quick with it. And you got a man beater to complement it. Now you can go to the screen as well against man if you need to. Like they're going man here 
it all just depends on the blocking like this. Great blocking. But it usually works a little bit better against zone. But otherwise, I like any type of wide receiver screen from the shotgun. Wide receiver under, it would be a little bit better if it worked as if that delayed rat was something like a flare and instead of that delay. It's just way too slow. And I wish I could use it on the right hash, but that drag rat is so slow getting over. That's why you don't see me use that play hardly at all. In and ups, I like this play. I wish the two go routes were simpler go routes. The best part about this play is the drag route. It is super quick. Against man, zone, you can go underneath and go to him, and you can do some very simple things. A very, I, I love this play. I just wish I would have something like this. A little simpler. So if you're into hot routing, you can do something like that. You can. I really like it. Okay, next up we have halfback direct. I like halfback direct. It's a very potent play when the blocking is there. It doesn't work all of the time, not, not like some people think it can, but it's a very good play. I would highly recommend you use it if you're in the shotgun at all. Halfback screen, I recommend you use halfback screens from the gun as long as it's got a decent man beater with it. If not, it can get kind of tough because this play works better against zone. So anytime you see a halfback screen, like in this case, it's on the left, it would be a left hash play because I I think those halfback screens work better on the short side. And then it's if for wide, shotgun wide trips. I think it's a really good formation. Next up, you got gun spread, maybe the most popular formation in the game. We can look at the sub packages. You got strong slots. You got halfback slot, backup QB, tight end slot, halfback sub, fullback. Wide receiver strong, and you can put your cornerback in there, and he doesn't lose any of his uh, ratings. So we can go in here. Wide receiver curls. I've used this play to death. Everybody knows how I like to use it. It's a great play. You can do a lot of cool things with it. Stay away from inside draw. PA read, one of the better PA reads in the game. I prefer to use it on the left hash, mainly because of the flare out by the running back. Then you got slot seams. This is a nice little run and shoot concept that you can uh, do some cool things with. I like it's one of the few little dig rats that it's kind of like this. Looks like they're going cover zero here. You can go to a few of the different uh, go routes. For example, they're going man here. Say you really like the matchup with circle on the right. You can do something like this and you can isolate him a little bit better. Looks like we're going cover zero. We can go over the top, and if that was a perfect throw, you could get a touchdown right there. But you kind of get what I'm saying. You can isolate your favorite go route, your best matchup, and then do every, whatever you need to over the top. But underneath, you got some good options as well. You can go to the dig, a little in route. I like it really well. And if it's against zone, you can go underneath to your halfback. Now, they're going man here, but that's an option as well. A really good play. I like the spacing of things. Just imagine if this play had like a go route in the slot instead of that go as you see right there. Either way, speed option, incredible. Use it. Wide receiver under, I like it okay. I like it better on the left hash. Uh, that angle route on the left is killer against man. Corner strike. A very slow developing run and shoot type play, but when you got the blocking, it is amazing. My preference is to uh, try to take cover two zone with it. If I can, I hope I can pull this off live. We'll see if we can. It's a right hash, and I called the wrong play. Good job, Al. Corner strike against like cover two. I like to try to go to L1 over here. Let's see if I can pull this off. Go over here. You can go over there, and you can get an easy touchdown. I wouldn't say easy, but you can pull it off. But you don't have to do a full rollout like that. You can stay here if need be, and then you can go over the top. Of course, I threw that way too early, but you get the point. Hopefully, I can stop a, a pick six. A not a bad play. It's not the best against man. The corner route on the left is good against cover one. The post cover zero. The angle route or the little halfback route is not bad against man. It usually works a little bit better against zone, though. Weak off tackle. If the blocking is there, it's fine. Otherwise, you're going to get hurt badly. It's just something you got to keep in mind. PA Flood, I like okay. It's just fine. I wish there was a little bit better man beater, for example. They're going zone here. This is another problem it has. The zone beaters is just not the best. This may get picked off. Yeah, it just doesn't work all that great. Uh, if you're going to go up against zone, you can go here against man. Go to him. It's not bad. Okay, so again, zone, you got a couple options. You can go to the post over the middle as long as it doesn't get tipped or anything. 
it's just fine. I wish there was a couple routes that were just a little bit different. Then you got deep attack. I don't need to say a whole lot about this play. This is probably the most popular passing play in the game. I like it a whole lot. You can do so much with it. Halfback direct, use it. Halfback screen, I like it. Especially if you uh, if you need a man beater, you can do something like this. You can just hot route. This guy over to a, a little out route if you need to get the ball out. You can go to your halfback against man. You just got to be careful. Don't expect too much from from it. But against zone, you can go to your halfback. Let's see if we can pull off something here. Go right here, get a block. Say that's not a bad little play. I like that. Against zone, you can make that work. Okay, next up we have... Double cross, it's, as you can tell, you got four deep routes. It's not bad for like a cover th or a third and long situation. You got your post that could be a good cover zero man beater or a good zone beater in general. You got the dig on the other side. You got the swing underneath. Your two flag routes are just okay. It would probably be better if one of them may be adjusted to like a center beater or something. But it's not a bad play. Halfback go, I like it okay. This, I wish the smash concept, the most basic one, which is what you see here, like on the left and on the right, I wish they would work a little bit better in this game, but these flag rats are very tough to throw to. You can make it work, but it's it's not the easiest. So here it looks like we're going man cover zero. We can go over the top and get a decent play there. Not bad. You just may have to adjust a thing or two, but it's okay. Next up, we got quick slants. I like quick slants. I wish the swing route was a little bit better against zone. You can play this technically off either hash, but I like it pretty well. Next up, you got slot wheels. I wish this play would work a little bit better. The problem is all the routes are too close to each other. By the time you're throwing it to somebody, you got to have a, a bunch of defenders going to be covering it all day. QB choice. Use it, especially if you just want to use it as an off-tackle play. Or if you want to keep it with a quarterback, you can go right or left with it. A very good concept. Wide receiver short post, I tend to avoid this play. I'm not a big fan of those little skinny posts you see from the outside wide receivers. I just don't think they work all that well. And that is it for gun spread. And there's plenty of good stuff in this formation. It works in so many different offenses. Just use it if you think you can. Last but not least, we got gun five wide. Now, this formation has a ton of good passing plays, and we're going to go through them. Let's look at the sub packages first. You got strong slots, and a lot of this, again, you're going to be putting backups in, subs, or moving wide receivers. Then you got tight end slot. Get your tight end in there. You can get a halfback in the slot. Backup QB. Wide receiver flip. A wide receiver strong right. Wide receiver strong left. QB uh, cornerback slot, if you want to get the cornerback in there without him dropping his overall. And now you're back to normal. So let's look at some of these. Middle clear. Uh, well, before we talk about middle clear, the only downside to gun five wide is, for whatever reason, in this game specifically, the CPU never calls cover zero if you call a five wide play. I don't know why. It just doesn't. It will do that in practice mode but it will never do it in a game. I wish it would. Otherwise, I'd be doing a lot of five wide stuff because there's some really good plays in here. So just keep that in mind whenever I mention cover zero beater. Good chance you'll never throw it to him. Anyway, back to the plays. Middle clear, one of the few plays in this formation I'm not a fan of. You could probably do a rollout with that R1 and triangle, the way they're kind of situated. But otherwise, I just don't like the way a lot of that looks. Slot corners, a great West Coast play. I like to use this off the right hash. We'll go up against normal. Or a nickel. Again, zone, you can go over the middle or you can go over to your hitch, just depending on which is open. If there's a hole above your center, go to the little in route or just go to the hitch. The hitch to stay open unless you see something like this where you got a defensive end spy. And against man, you can go to your zig uh, route on the left. And of course, you got a couple technically cover zero beaters with those flag rats. You can also hit cover one with them, just don't expect much. So a very good play. I like it a whole lot. One of my favorites. Next up, you got Flood. Flood, my preference is to use this on the right hash because of that drag route. You got a short zone beater. Then you got a crossing route above it, a dig. Then you got two go routes. Unfortunately, you probably won't go to them because, like I mentioned, the uh, whole cover zero situation, for whatever reason, you're just not going to see it. Uh, zig outs, maybe my favorite just because the spacing and the routes in general just work so well together. You can work it off either hash. Then you got slants. I like the slants. I Hopefully I can pull this off. This is a great play as a pick for this slant over here on the right. Something like this, and that's going to almost get picked. Every now and then you can pull this off. 
Oh, no, pick six. I have to take it to the house. <laughs> I know that's a terrible showing, but trust me, I've been able to get touchdowns off this play before. It just kind of depends on what's happening. For example, we can try maybe against, I want to make this work. We can go up against like a nickel cover two band. It's fine. As long as you don't have a corner directly on that slant R1, you can probably get this play off. Now, we're going up against an impact linebacker, so that, I probably won't be able to make this work. But anyway, I've been able to make it work. I, I suggest you at least go into practice mode and try it out. Comebacks, uh, a good man audible type play, but I, there's just nothing you can do against zone with it. Then you got curl flats. The routes work great with each other. You can work it off either hash. Use QB draw. And work, this is probably the most effective QB draw in the game, only because of the spacing of the receivers. You can go between the tackles around them, and you can pick up a decent gain. Double wide receiver screen. Everybody's seen me use this in the past. I like it pretty well. Against man, I like to motion this screen over behind this other receiver. And, of course, this ain't going to work. <laughs> Got a high snap. They're going zone here. You can go to the other screen. Do something like this and pick up some yards. I like this play a whole lot. You can go back to the zone again. I almost got picked off. Just a good little play overall. I'm not going to sit there and kind of hope it goes man against me. Good little play. Then you got Assault. I'm not a fan of it. I don't think the routes work really well together. Deep outs. Really good. You could do two things with it. You can, If you don't need the deep yardage, you can go underneath. Play it on the left hash. That way you've got that drag to work with as a good zone beater. If you need to go over the top as a post in the slot, play it on the right. Deep post. I love this play. You can work it off either hash because you got that slot receiver, that little hitch that you can use on either side. In this case, they're going man. We don't need him. We can then go over here, and you can go to this crossing ground. Again, just a terrible throw. <laughs> I swear, I I'm a better thrower than this. Everybody who has seen me play, just a good play. Again, use it off either hash. Next up, we got slot outs. Really good play because you got two underneath zone beaters. You can play it off either hash. That's great. Everything stretches well. Go routes can distract players uh, above to give your uh, own players underneath some time to do things. Uh, just a great play in general. Middle attack. That's a good left hash play. I like the hitch with a slot beside it, and you got a nice little double slant move that works better than any normal slant in the game. Quick crosses I'm not a big fan of. The arrow route is pretty good. You see that circle, the highlight. He's an impact guy. Pretty good man beater. Then you got a drag underneath. Not a bad play. It could be a little bit better. Then you got wheelies. I'm not a fan just because all the rats are so close to each other. They don't complement each other all that well. Splitting corners are a really good play. You can work it off either hash. That's one thing I may think about doing is create an offense where I use nothing but pass plays that work off either hash instead of one or the other. Anyway, splitting corners, I like it. All the routes work really well together. Uh, then you got slot hitches. I do not like it. Those skinny posts are awful. I like the little hitches underneath, and I like the little slant stop or slant and uh, curl over the middle. But those two hit the skinny posts need to be adjusted. And that is it for Gun 5 Wide, and that is it for the offense. Just a quick recap. There's some good stuff in Ace Normal. It is a 12 personnel set. Then you got Ace Slot. Excellent. Ace trips, it's got enough in there where you could do something with it. I normal, super popular. No back normal. This was very popular for Steve Spurrier going five wide from under center and from the gun, as we can see from gun five wide. Pro slot, some decent pass plays in it. Shotgun wide trips, I like some good things in it. Gun spread, everybody knows what's in there. Then you got gun five wide. This playbook truly represents what Sir Steve Spurrier was trying to do back then before he switched his offense up a few years later and went to more of a spread attack. Okay, hopefully this was useful. Make sure you use the chapters, uh, the little timestamps at the bottom so you can find what you need. And hopefully I can provide a link or two that could be uh, useful and complement this video. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.